Hello friends! Today I'm back with another Chibitronics tutorial. This time I'm using this cute little fairy stamp set from Clearly Besotted to create a fairy tale scene. I'm doing here a little bit of stamp masking because I wanted this flower headband to be together with the image. I didn't want to fuzzy cut this one. So I stamped the hairband on blue masking tape and cut it out. Now I stamped first my hairband and then I stamped my fairy image on top. I'm using here my Misty tool because the stamps are new and sometimes you need to stamp the images twice when they are new. And I'm using here Momento Tuxedo Black Ink because I'm now Copic coloring my images. This time I wanted to go for a pretty new color scheme for me. I don't often like to use yellow and blonde hair and but this time I felt like I wanted to use it and challenge myself. And I did and I'm really happy with the result. I'm using here my G000 and G quadruple zero for the fairy tale. How do you call it? Wings. Yeah, wings. Sorry. And I'm using here some red yellow markers for the hair. And I'm really, really happy with the result. I'm going from darkest to lightest color because I find you don't really see the difference between going from light to medium to dark to medium to light but it takes a lot longer when you do it like this and a lot of more marker and I wanted to save some money and save some time doing like a light base color then a dark color medium and light and now I did my die cutting I die cut the grass border from clearly besotted also and I distress ink it with um, twisted citron and now I'm using broken china distress ink and tumbled glass distress ink on some watercolor paper for my sky scene and I splattered some drops of water on top of it and created this distressed background. I used here the Halo die cut from Create a Smile. You also get this die cut in English and it says hello and I stamped baby girl under it because baby girl German people do understand as well and now I'm painting in where my LEDs will be later but first I stamped with Versamark ink this little shiny glittery pieces star things and heat set it with white embossing powder and after heat setting it I cut out the middle pieces of this uh, shiny star Thing. And this thing which I cut out is where the battery will be later because I wanted to hide um, the circuit from the LEDs. I don't want it to be seen. I know my cards always look messy before finishing them but I hope it makes sense for you what I'm doing. Now I'm creating the first part of my circuit. This is a really pretty easy circuit. It is a parallel circuit with a simple switch. And now I'm creating the other string of the circuit. Um, sometimes I even don't care to write down which side is minus and which is plus because as long as you put the LEDs all to the same side 
it doesn't matter. You just switch the battery from top to bottom and then you know which was the wrong side. But I always like to check my circuit first if everything is working because um, I don't want to tape down all my LEDs and later have to figure out where was my mistake. I taped down now my stickers, my LED stickers and checked and now I know everything is working and I can start to assemble my card. I'm taping the background down now. I'm using here some dry tape because I like this much more than liquid glue. And I'm erasing now my circle part. I draw in to know where to go with my shining pieces. <laughs> and now I'm creating like a little pocket or a little house for my battery. And I'm using here foam tape, but I always like to leave the green paper on top so it isn't sticky on top. And now I'm taping my grass piece down to the card panel and I'm stamping my little sentiment. I die cut the sentiment hello from gold glitter paper from Folia. I really like this glitter paper because it doesn't lose the glitter and I used here doubles double sided is sure but um, two layers of foam tape and I put liquid glue on top so I have a little bit of wriggle room in case I lay down my card panel a little bit wonky so I have a change I have the opportunity to change it and I'm using for my fairy three layers of foam tape on the wings and on the belly I'm using just one layer of foam tape so everything is on the same height. My glitter sentiment I planned to tape just straight on top of everything but the idea was three layers of foam tape on the fairy came later and now I had to Use a little bit of foam tape behind the hello, behind the hello die cut as well to have everything even. Now I'm almost finished, and I can make some finishing touches now. I'm using my Spectrum Noir glitter pen, the clear overlay to make shiny wings to make a shiny hairband and a shiny dress. I like it when fairies have a lot of glitter. And I'm using here my black jelly roll pen to make the eyes a little bit pop more. And I'm using here some iridescent sequin mix from Lucy's Little Things. Because for fairies, as I already told, I like to have a lot of glitter. And now my card is almost done. I totally forgot to film that I'm using here a little sentiment to glue on top of the belly where the battery is. So the recipients know where to press that the card will shine. And here you can see my finished card. And in case you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. And in case you aren't already a subscriber, you have now the chance to do it. And you can see here some more projects I did for Chibitronics. Have a nice day. Thank you and bye.